Welcome home, everyone. Wookie Legend here. We're back uh, on. We're back on the how-to series for beginners with the battleships. Uh, today we have the Piotr of Veliki, Peter the Great. It's a fantastic, fantastic battleship. It's got uh, eight three fifty-sixes, eight of them, on uh, four turrets. It's got amazing armor if you know how to use it, of course. Uh, One twenty-five. This is uh, I, Yamato can't even go through this. So uh, using these uh, angles correctly will get you very, very far. The ship isn't that fast. It doesn't have the farthest reach compared to its counterparts, um, but we'll make it happen with 10 points. Um, pretty much eliminate the gun feeder. I would have emergency repair, OK, because you are limited to repairs with the Russians. I'll get the traverse on the turrets a little bit faster. I will get the fire extinguisher time a little bit faster. I would give myself another repair and heal. So first 10 points, pretty basic, pretty standard equipment. I'd upgrade everything. I'd start with the hull first. Then I went with um, maintenance, uh, main armament mod one. I went with damage uh, control system mod one. And then we went with uh, aiming system mod one. Other than that, get yourself a nice camo. Doesn't matter which one it is, but make sure you have at least camo on there. Um, other than that, let's get going. Let's crush it. Hope you guys all had a fantastic day. Stay safe out there. Enjoy the games. Even if they're frustrating. Try to learn. Try to learn from the games that are... our losses, right? You can't, well, definitely learn from the games that are wins, because don't just sell yourself on the fact that you did great. And that's why you guys won, right? There's always room to improve. So be very, very self-aware that uh, it does take a team to win. And it also takes a team to lose, right? So no one individual can win it for their team without the help of others, even in a small part. So let's see if we have a uh, tier five match. Hopefully we're not bottom tier against sixes or sevens. Because then the ship does start to struggle. Um, but yeah. So, uh, ideally, you want to start mid-range. Right? You want to be in a position where you can just stop shooting and disengage. Or you need to be closer to an island to disengage. Um, later on, mid-game to late-game, you want to push in. Knowing that you have your armor. That will protect you. Nose in. Pure 5 match. Okay? We don't have to worry about any of them. Going nose in. Uh, cruisers, we can pretty much one shot. Uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun with this um, Ujin. And then the Nicholas, of course. But for the most part, I think we'll do we'll do quite well. We'll do quite well. Let's see if we can actually get in the match. There we go. We got in the match. We're going to move forward through these islands. Uh, we're not going to go much further than, say, this one. We're, we're not going to go past this little one. We don't need to. They're going to come to us. What we need to do is we need to just angle in a way where if the shells come from here, here, or over here, we have our nose kind of turned in. So we're going to go in deep t towards the island and then kind of nose in this way. So if we have to disengage, we can back up and disengage or uh, we will be angled towards the shots that are going to be coming towards us. So actually, we want to turn our guns this way. So let's turn our back guns around. We do have that 37 seconds for a 180 traverse. So... 37 seconds isn't the worst. Could be worse. Could always be worse. Now, this guy's still asleep, so we can't use him as help. We have a Celebs, we have an Emerald, and we have ooh, a test ship. Ooh. That is an Italian destroyer. They are being tested. They are going to be coming out next patch in phase one. There's the Omaha. Let's get into a position. Like we said, we're going to use the islands as much as we can early on in the game and then move in later on in the game here we are close to our cap there, there is only one cap so we're gonna try to stay close there's no point of going anywhere with it because we don't have um, the speed to go anywhere else with it of course i'm shooting he why not they're gonna be shooting at us and that's okay as long as we maintain angling we're well, gonna use that 127 plate to stop most of the shells. 
Like this, look, we're gonna almost shoot our back guns there, though. And there go, we went dark. So, we're gonna actually go for this battleship before we go for the Omaha. If we, can, if we can notch these guys down early on, later on they're gonna be easy to kill. Now he is stopping, kind of broadside. We are angled, though. Let's see if dispersion is gonna be on our side. Yes, it is. That's 12,000. That he's not getting back. So he's doing what I'm doing. He's coming back. But see how he's not angled like I am? If I, if he shoots at me, I have a much better chance. We can help with this, but we're not going to. The second... We're going to maintain holding this flank down. Now, we could go for the Somaha, but we know he's a one-shot. We don't need him dead here. We need this battleship dead, though, for sure. Okay. There it is. The shot came back. We need to make the shot. We need those back guns there too. There we go. Kind of pushed forward a little too much there, but we wanted those back guns in place. We're gonna hit them at all. Five thousand? Okay, I'll take five thousand. Better than zero. Omaha is pushing in. That's fine. He's the next victim. Oh, celebs didn't make it, but a lot of firepower came in. It's okay. We shall hold fire. We can still see him here. Is he doing a full retreat? I actually don't know, but let's try our luck here. An early shot. Okay. Maybe we could have waited for this, but we didn't know how far out he's going to come out. What does he want to do? So if we don't catch him here, we'll catch him right here. There's a Fujin. Fujin can only torp us at 7 kilometers. We're at 8 from him. Knowing what the destroyers can do, guys, because you're playing them. Yes, not everyone has the Fujin, but the equivalent of the Fujin is the Minakaze. So, definitely, definitely know your ships so that you know how to deal with them. There we go. There's our opportunity. We know those torps won't hit us, but we're going to back up anyway because we want to angle a little bit better and we can get our back guns on. Nothing crazy. See, just that back gun needs to align. There you go. And now we have a much better chance to engage something like this. There, see? We bounced most of his shots. He couldn't do anything to us. We're going to back up so then it's a 1v1. We want a 1v1. We don't want a 1v2. I don't think we can help him. Oh... If only he had his Hydro up. Well, here's a problem. Now, this Fujin's gonna come this way. So what needs to happen is we need to go dark. And we need to get out of here. As we're leaving, he's gonna have a harder time actually attacking us. Now, he is angled, so we're gonna aim higher. Okay. We had a much better response. Not a lot of damage, though, but we got to get out of here right now. Because this guy is coming. So, what needs to happen is we need to turn our guns. Because as we're fleeing, our guns need to be looking back at this DD. The DD doesn't know exactly where we are right now. So we have the element of surprise. Um, let's find out where he is, though. Most likely he has his AE on. We're not doing very well in this match. Our guys are just YOLOing in. Yeah, there he is. He's right around the corner. So we have advantage on movement. Now, the other peer can shoot at us, which is fine. Oh, he's a lot closer than I thought. There we go. Okay. We're going to take one. Can we only take one more? Or two? Okay, so we're going to take two. It's not the end of the world. Fortunately for us, we survived. Unfortunately for him, we have a reload. But now all we have to do is survive these guys. He had a, he had a chance. I think he is still uh, AFK. What needs to happen is here we have to just disengage as much as we can. Uh, we don't have health, so we need to heal. We have three heals left, and we're going to use them all. And game's not over yet. We're not giving up. 
We are angling, though. Angling is very important. But we do need to get rid of these guys. They are very dangerous to our team. Hopefully we can help out our destroyer friend here. As much as we could. We couldn't kill him, but... We're definitely trying. We're definitely trying. This island is in the way. Okay, he is dead, but everything else is dead too. Hopefully, our Kavor and Emerald and Acosta can get rid of this Emil Bertan. We're going to attempt to get rid of this guy as best as we can. Let's make sure we have a good shot here. Chip damage now, so we can kill him later. There's another heal. That was the damage. Ugh. Sometimes it just doesn't want to click. Doesn't want to connect. This Britain A is still full health. That's not good. Luckily, we can sustain his firepower. Not for long, but we can sustain it. Maybe we could go with this Koenig. Get rid of him. See if we can get some more damage. Next is Furutaka. He is full broadside, so hopefully we can get rid of him. One pen? Oh my goodness. That's okay. We're just gonna reposition and hope for the best. That's all we can do is reposition and hope for the best. We don't need to rush this. I don't know what the Furutaka is doing, but that's okay. Alright, here we go. Full speed. Just straight sailing. Don't ever do that, because this is what can happen to you. Well, I would have been able to kill him if it didn't just overpen him, but... Yeah, the whole... Straight sailing bit is really easy to hit those vitals like the citadels. Unfortunately, the game said no, <laughs> and sometimes the game says no. It's quite unfortunate because he should have just, uh, well, you punish the guys that make the mistakes. He was making a full mistake here, just the game said no for, for me. Not the end of the world. Is he gonna commit to turning back in? No, okay. Uh oh, I didn't see that shot come in. And we missed ours. This is going to be a very, very bad game. All right, we're turning around. We're going to go down this way. We're going to stay away from our team so we can have a cross shot. I mean, there's no team. It's just him. Um, so we're going to try to stay alive as long as possible. Our chances of winning this is very slim unless they make huge mistakes and our RNG starts becoming better. <laughs> But I don't see it happening. Sometimes with these lower tier ships, um, shots just don't want to make it. I mean, you saw multiple times we hit a thousand damage. Right? There's almost 3,000. That's good. Now, he is going to catch me on a full turn. If he's lucky, he's going to get a Citadel. Hopefully, we can slow down here on the turn. There it is. We did see the shot come in. Nothing from our guy. Yeah. Not ideal. We can go for him, though. He is just backing up, so he is a lot easier of a target. Thousand that time damage. Again, not ideal. Get rid of them one at a time. Going forward now? I think he is. Might have messed that up. Yeah. Alright, well. The only thing we can do at this point is. Well, we're not going to YOLO, but we will attempt to get rid of this Emerald. Then we're going to attempt to get rid of the Britney. 
The Pyotr Veliki is far away. He's slow. Furutaka we know is low. Koenig we know is low. And then they have another Pyotr Veliki. <laughs> we're just full of surprises. Uh, we're going to keep our last heal. Just, uh, for just, uh, just in case. At this point, once we start engaging this Brittany, um, we have a chance here to get crushed. Hopefully we get we, we do the crushing, but time will tell. I know they're coming this way. Sorry, I know they're coming this way, so it's a matter of time of uh, when we're going to get uh, flanked. Yeah, he is connecting a lot more shots than I am. for Otaka. Oh, and here come the Torps. Yep. Can I get a shot off before that happens? No, I'm dead. Yeah, so there's nothing for us to do, but pretty much if, if you have a team that's not going to die really quick, you have a very good potential of actually having a very successful battle. Unfortunately, our team just kept on pushing and pushing and pushing right into them. Uh, it's tough sometimes, but... Uh, it is what it is. I hope you guys have fun. Take it easy. Do not rush with this ship. Make your shots if you can. And uh, positioning is absolutely important. Notice I was watching the minimap. Uh, if I wasn't, that Fujin would have killed me. So, I mean, we pretty much died to him, but we didn't. And we recovered. It's just at that point, the, the rest of the team was, it was dead. Regardless, have a good one, guys. Take it easy and stay safe. Bye for me.